everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I am going to tell you which one of these we're going to redo on Monday. Um, I'm doing version A, and if you have version B, then these red numbers are just uh, the, the number on your test or your quiz that correlates with this problem. So to start off with, uh, most people did just fine here, so let's just go through it. Um, distribute this 5 because the 5 is being multiplied by the parentheses. So 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x, and 5 times 8 is 40. These are x's and these are 1's, so we can't add them together, so that would be our final answer. Okay. Uh, this one here is one of those that we're going to redo on Monday. The main issue the main issue is this uh, negative here. Okay, when you distribute, if the number you're distributing is a negative number, then the negative itself needs to be distributed. Okay? Um, so that negative 7 times a 3 is negative 21, and negative 7 times negative 6x is a positive 42, and don't forget about the x. And plus 4. So we have 42x, and negative 21 plus 4, this one seems to trip some people up sometimes because what I'm seeing is negative 21 plus 4, and you have negative 25 because 21 plus 4 is 5. But this is not a 21. This is a negative 21. So let's look at the number line to remind ourselves what we're talking about here. Here's 0. This could be negative 21. We're going to add 4, which means we're going to go to the right. 4, add 4, and that's going to be at negative 17. So we have 42x minus 17. This is another one that we're going to redo on Monday. Uh, and again, the main issue is this negative here. All right, Very few uh, of you tried to add these together, or subtract 3 from 6 and get 3 and multiply that through. Okay. Most people caught that we are multiplying the negative 3 by the parentheses, and multiplication comes before subtraction or addition. So when we distribute this, this thing here. It is a negative number, and we're going to distribute that. Like, if you were to just for a minute forget the 6 was even part of this problem, you would have a negative 3 times the parentheses. Okay. Um, so we'll forget about the 6 for just a second. Negative 3 times negative 5x is positive 15x, and negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. So we've done that distribution. But that thing we covered up there was a 6. So 6 is part of that whole thing. 6 plus the 15x plus 21. So you have 15x plus 27, because 21 plus 6 is 27. Uh, we're going to distribute the 4 now into the parentheses. 4 times 5x is 20x. 4 times negative 11 is negative 44. And we have this minus 7x. Okay. Be careful again. I saw some, some confusion here. What we have is a, a positive 20x, which we could think of like this. 20x, way out here to the right of 0. And we're going to subtract 7x. And where does that put us? It puts it at 13x. Okay, So 13x minus 44. Halfway through. Um, this is another one we're going to be redoing on Monday. Um, and this one tricked a lot of people. Um, it wasn't intended to trick you, but I was trying to show you this kind of situation. If I have just something minus a parentheses, uh, remember anything that's minus, like minus x, even minus 2, uh, minus uh, y, some other variable, this represents a you know negative 1x, like uh, an x, a value of x that is 1x to the left of 0. Okay. Uh, negative 2, again, it's the same as negative 1 times 2. This is negative 1 times x. This is negative 1 times 2. This is negative 1 times y. Right. So when I have minus this parentheses, it's the same as negative 1 times the parentheses. So just as with this guy back here, right, we kind of ignored 
ignored the 6 for a second, and then we just dealt with a negative 3 being distributed into the parentheses. So we're going to distribute this negative 1 into the parentheses. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Okay. And 5 minus 2 is 3, so we have 3 minus 3x, or negative 3x plus 3, which is all the same thing. This is going all weird again, and this is one also that we're going to redo on Monday. Uh, so we have two instances of distribution, so we want to distribute those things, and we want to remember uh, two things for this first set. It's negative, okay, and there's an x there. We have to, this, this is the thing that's being multiplied by this parentheses. It's, it's the whole number, it's the whole term. So when we distribute it, the x is included, right? If I were to write this out the long way, I would write negative 4 times x times negative 6, right? Which would be a negative 4 times negative 6 is positive. That's one of the issues that came up is positive 24 times x. So there's that times x. A negative 4x times positive 4 is negative 16x. This one didn't give people much trouble. Just distribute the 12, 36x, 12 times negative 2, negative 24, plus 13x. Right. Uh, and now we have, here's an x term, x term, x term, x term, and we can tell that negative 24 is going to pull through to the final answer. Um, let's see, 24 minus 16, that is 8. 8 plus 36 is uh, 44 plus 13 is 57x. 57x. Okay. Um, here, these last two, fairly straightforward. We're just going to collect like terms. We have a 5x plus two more x's is 7x. 4, no other constants to combine with a negative 4, so that's just all that remains. Um, here's an interesting thing that I saw a lot of. Negative 2x, and you've added 2x, and then you wound up with just x. But let's look at it on a number line. Let's say this is 0. We could think of negative 2x as being over here to the left of 0, 1, 2 x's to the left of 0. Uh, so we're at negative 2x and we're going to add 2x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move to the right the amount that is equal to 2x's. So I would add 2x. Where does that put us? Back at 0. Getting an x here is saying 1x. You're saying that by adding 2x, you actually wind up over here at 1x. But that's, I can see by this number line, that can't be true. If I take something and I add itself, like a negative something, and add exactly the same thing to it with the positive version, like negative 4 plus 4, or negative 7 plus 7, or negative x plus x, or negative 5 apples plus 5 apples, right? All of these, including this one, all come out to be 0. Okay, so negative 2x plus 2x, they just cancel each other out, so we can just scribble those guys out. The only x is left are 12x, okay? And just be careful when you're combining these. I saw some, like, 13s, and, you know, just pay attention to what's happening here. We have a positive 8, and we have a negative 5 here. 8 minus 5 is just 3. Okay, so just take it slow. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. Remember that. Okay, remember, uh, pay attention to those numbers, whether they be... Uh, 6 or 3, depending on if you have A or the B test. Look up at the top of the page, it'll tell you which version it is. Okay, we're going to do 5 from A and 6 from test B that are the same. Uh, we're going to do that kind of a problem in the, in, uh, on the previous page. Okay. 2 from A, 1 from B, 3 from A, 7 from B. Okay, so look over those, get ready to uh, show me improvement. Uh, on those four problems, and uh, that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching.